I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Miss Wakeyana. I, I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha <laughs> ha. You're mad. My visor is finally here. <laughs> the thing, the thing about. The thing about this visor, and you know it was made famous by that woman who was messing with the racist, uh, V. Stiviano. Um, well, there she is. Look at the camel toe. I'm so distracted. I just... Really, girl? Tug. Mm. Welcome back. <laughs> I love my staff because they surprised me with this. I had no idea. Thank you, staff. It's a massage for Mother's Day. Listen. Right now, my bliss, my bliss uh, spa massage is being performed by massage therapy. A little harder, Ivy. Yeah, no, I, I have thick skin and big bones. A little to the left. If I were in the privacy of my own massage room, my wig would be removed so she could really get it in there. Can you imagine what it's like being a grown woman but having the body of a 10-year-old? Oh, oh. Suzanne. Oh. Suzanne. I like your scarf. Thank you. You, you want to borrow it? No. <laughs> it wouldn't fit you anyway. It's made for a woman. Okay. Listen. <laughs> look, look, look. There's a woman in our audience whose female friend has confessed that she's really in love with her. You got a boyfriend or something? I don't. I've been scanning the audience looking for one. A, I like the guy in the mauve shirt with the white collar. He's looking away. Uh, do, See, do, do you have a boyfriend? Gaydar. Oh, he has a boyfriend. Damn it. Yeah, we don't like to bust up All relationships All the good ones are here. either gay or gay. Or, or in jail. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, who doesn't love a pearl necklace? Everybody needs a good pearl necklace. <laughs> sister Wanda got married, I threw the bachelor party, and um, I was the main, main girl. What do you call that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, I was the maid of honor, and then the other girls, and so I was kind of overruled, and I was young. She's been married for like 25 years. I was young and, and still trying to find myself as a woman, and I think because so many women love strip clubs, I think that I just kind of went along to get along. And my mom was there and everything. <laughs> Having fun, Daddy. I am not the strip club person. I just don't. I don't. I just don't like it. I don't get it. I. I just don't like. Don't touch me. Don't twerk in my face. Don't. Don't sit on my lap. I'm not gonna stuff dollars. I don't even. I'm going home. Favorite rumor you've heard about yourself? Oh, my favorite rumor. Yes. Yes. My favorite rumor was um, some uh, very famous radio talk show hostess. <laughs> About 10 years ago, spread a rumor that uh, I was sleeping with Gabrielle Union. Oh! I don't remember who that was again who spread that rumor, but... Well, um, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know either. But I think we cleared it up at some point. Oh, my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Moving on. I apologize. Did it, did it get back to your wife? Did, I mean... Actually, you don't remember? She... We actually called her on the radio you while I was with wife. you. Well, yeah, and she said, you know what, Wendy? Actually, we're both sleeping with Gabrielle. Oh, so she was a, she was a good sport. Yeah. So we squashed it. Oh, my it gosh. It's all good. That damn radio career. <laughs> you know, when I came out of my dressing room, no, I want to tell you something. No, uh, look. So when I came out of my dressing room, um, I know, well, that's what the guy said. I have to pass the crew, and the crew, you know, bra you know, brawny guys and everything. So when they say something or observe something, I'm like, wow. They said, we like your new bangs. I was like, you guys noticed? And then they go, and then we go, we love your beautiful sparkly holiday dress. I'm like, you guys noticed that? Devilish egg eyeballs. Such a good idea. So you can make your favorite deviled eggs, but mine are devil-ish, because I actually use half the yolks, and I put in a secret ingredient, silken tofu. What? Okay. So, like, you don't even taste it. Um, you know, we are live out of New York right now at 20 minutes after 10 o'clock. If you were watching uh, at the top of the show, we were a little out of focus because something happened with one of our wackadoodle cameras. But here on our show, wackadoodle's good, so it all works. We interrupt.
interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello, this is the Wigiana checking in to make sure you're still watching. Yes, I know you don't want to hear my voice, but oh fucking well. Anyways, if you could leave me a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Or a comment, I would love that. Anyways, if you would like to support my channel in other ways, because I know some of you are asking for super likes, I do not have that option because I reuse clips. So if you would like to support as YouTube does not cut the check, you can go to my website in the description below. Now back to the video. Love you. You know what I mean? Ugh. So I'm in the airport on my way to Idaho, Rambo, get this. Look, don't ask me why I was in Idaho. It's a, you see? Shout out to all my friends in Idaho. I got a few how you doings, but for the most part, it was, I was just a woman relaxing and gathering my thoughts. And, um, and the bracelet was given to me by a girl named Ashley. She didn't know I was Wendy or anything, right? And I saw the bracelet. I'm like, I like your bracelet. Where do I get it? And she said, you know, you get it at the fair. So I went to the fair. I didn't see one. But I saw her again while I was at the fair. And so, so she says, do you want mine? And I said, no. She says, I have another one at home. So she took it off and gave it to me. Thank you, Ashley. So, okay, okay, okay. There were three TV channels, like nothing. I had my books, my thoughts, thinking about you, but mostly gathering my life for me and my son and my family, just, you know. Look, look, listen, 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 listen. So I'm at the airport getting the usual snacks that you get for the plane. You know, you eat stuff at the airport that you normally don't get, like flaming Hot Cheetos. I got my Cheetos. Uh, you know, I'm get, gathering my gummy bears. Of course, a fistful of Jolly Ranchers and the magazines. So I go over, I, go, I want the Vogue, I want the L, I want... Oh my gosh, I'm on the cover of the Globa? What is going on? Okay, shout out to the Globe. I know you have to do your job. Inaccurately, I might add, for this particular thing. I mean, I mean, thank you for the love and stuff. It was stunning, because I do hot topics. For 33 years, I've had this career. Only been unemployed for two weeks, by the way. I'd love to brag about that. Look. But when I saw this, I almost passed out right there. And then it's weird, like going to a grocery store, now, now I'm conscious of it, right? Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I, I bought all of them at the airport, because <laughs> that's what you do. I read about the celebrities when they're on the cover of something and they don't like it, or even if they love it, you buy them all. I bought them all and, and, and walked on about my business. Listen, my family is doing fine, all right? And I am doing fine, and, and please. Please. Poof, poof. Make that go away. Make that go away. Make that go away. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Other places that I traveled. I was in Chicago. I was in Phoenix. Uh, 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 uh. I went to Chicago, went to Phoenix. I was in Dallas. I went to Scottsdale, Arizona. Another place that I went to gather myself. I was coming undone. Like, I need a schedule, I need to know at 10 o'clock New York to light it up. Yeah. And, and it, 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 like, like, I need a schedule. So then, oh, I rode the Pepsi float for the gay pride parade. Yeah. The time of my life. It was, it truly was, it, that, that first of all, I, I Yes, okay. They no longer call it a death drop, it's called dip. A lot of people, like I, I saw, people were like, would you break your leg and stuff like that? <laughs> no, you don't know the death drop? We do that all the time here between commercials. Suzanne, you know. Everyone. Clap all if you death drop. Clap if you death drop, do no. you know? Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Honey child, my sister Wanda saw the picture, she was like, you're so flexible. I said, he knows. <laughs> and by the way, Black China gave me this outfit because this is one of the many ones that she wore in LA at Pride. And I was like, I love that. I, would, I love that. Like, that's perfect for me for Pride. I knew I was gonna be riding the float for Pepsi. So as I'm checking out of the hotel by myself, I didn't travel with anyone, I told you. 
and as I'm checking out of the hotel, um, they say, bye, bunny. Oh. Yeah, I have a fake name. I made it up myself, okay. Now I have to change it, all right. But look, but look, 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 look. My name is Bunny Hops, H-O-P-P-Z. So, I'm at the hotel answering the fake names and stuff. All right, so look. So as I'm getting into the car to go back to the airport to come back to New York, they say, bye, Bunny. Wait, we have a package for you. So I take the package and get in the car. I'm flustered because I had such a great time. I met so many great people and, you know, we're in at the Kardashian Jenners. And so on my way to the airport, so I open it up and it's Angela. She stopped by. She didn't even stop and bother me at the room. She stopped by or sent one of her assistants or whatever. She bought me the costume and left it there. So anyway, anyway, but Pride Day, Pride Day was a really big deal. It was definitely one of the best days of my life. Yeah, yeah. And I was there with James. James had everything that I needed. I didn't even think about it because you see there's no pockets in that costume. James had all of the tissues, right? Because at one point, right, I was crying. Like the love was so ridiculous. Like James, you, only me and you know exactly what was going on. At one point, a few points, the crowd was doing Wendy, Wendy so loud it overtook the, I, I wanted to pass out. Aww. It was 100 degrees, wow. right? Okay, all right, all right, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, by the way, I still haven't used the, the stove at my apartment. I still haven't cooked. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Wendy in the city. I, I, I eat out all the time. The refrigerator is full of leftovers from the food from the night before. <laughs> I, I think I like this life. <laughs> so, so then, all right, oh my God. So the phone rings after you know seeing all that's been going on with me in the news. It's my friend Byron Pitts. Do you know him? Do you know Byron? I know him. Nightline. Nightline, ABC. Okay, okay. Byron calls up. He always calls me sis. Yo, sis, I'm just calling to check on you. Is everything okay? I hate the wellness checks. All right, like it's better than okay. But so I'm talking at Byron and stuff. And so he says, look, me and my family are going to Martha's Vineyard. We're gonna be up there for a week. Why don't you come? You know, we have a guest house. You don't have to stay in the main house with us if you don't want to. We have a bunch of bicycles and it's just a place for you to breathe. Plus, I know a lot of single guys. I'm like, everybody's trying to hook me up. Like, I love it, I love it. But I already had my plans to go to um, Idaho. So I, so I said, no, Byron. So anyway, so I'm gonna catch up with him and his family later on this summer. But he wanted to do well, just come and breathe. Be silent, be silent and breathe. I know, I know. It's like ridiculous. You know who else wanted me to be silent and breathe? Who? You know Tasha Smith, that actress. She's been on our show. Look, 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 look. So Tasha, Tasha rented a yacht to sail around Manhattan for 4th of July. And she's like, Wendy, we're both single, cause she's single too. She's like, I'm inviting all the men and we will have our pick. <laughs> but I couldn't do that either because I was already booked to do something else. Yeah, no, that, I was in Idaho. I was there for like a whole week. It was like, it, it, was, so, it was so peaceful. Anyway, look, so another thing that I did, I went to Charlotte to speak to the youngins about how to be you know, responsible and, you know, the kids, there were thousands of people. Yeah. Shout out to Black Enterprise for having me. It was their big conference in North Carolina. So I'm there and I'm talking and there are thousands of people and the kids are really listening and it's not about, have you ever met, you know, um, Jay-Z? It's about business, like how do you build a business? The whole time, I know they wanted to say, are you dealing with a 27 year old? <laughs> it's been the elephant in the room my entire vacation. I'm just so glad to be back to clear up the air. Anyway, look, 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 look. Stop, 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 right? So then the flight from Charlotte was a mess and we had to sit on the runway. Okay, we get to New York, but we can't land because there was apparently some sort of storm and we were backed up. We started to run out of gas in the plane. Oh. So the pilot says, uh, we need more gas. Oh. We're flying to Richmond. 
And, it, and I'm like, why aren't we flying then to Philly or something? It's right there. <laughs> Philly was backed up too. So we flew to Richmond, we got the gas, but we're on the runway for two hours. The whole time I see the, like I'm looking and I'm the hot topic and I'm trying to go like this. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I was trapped in the plane with Fred from Mediatakeout.com. Oh, no. <laughs> what? We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello, it is me, the Wigiana, interrupting again. I know you are sitting there oh so sour and so mad, but here I am. Anyways, I know some of you are wondering how you can support my channel, and you can do so in the description below, as YouTube does not cut the check for me. Okay, back to the video. What is this, though? Is that the finished? Finish? Yeah, that's the finished product. Mm. So you bake them, you bake them, and then they, they're nice, Look. and when they're still warm, right? I know. <laughs> Girl. I can't. I'm wearing Wendy jeans from hsn.com with a flat booty. <laughs> I am very embarrassed. Well, yeah, you got it from your mama. Well, thanks, mommy. <laughs> I used to wear shoulder pads until I discovered my shoulders are padded by God. By the way, and that's a blessing. Yeah, yeah. All right. And your skin was like airbrushed by God, so it's good. Thank you. Uh, no, I, I, I have I good skin. I see what's skin. happening. You have good skin. Th thank you. I see it. I'm up close. Rachel, thank you. I'm just saying. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's mage. You're mage. Coming from you. You're mage. Is that a good bathing suit? Yeah. And she looks great in it. Yeah. She's like a baked potato. <laughs> all, all wrapped up and ready to be put in the oven. <laughs> so now I hear mistresses is moving back to LA. Uh, will you rejoin the cast? <laughs> the cast? <laughs> <laughs> New York is 33 years old. I know, that's a hard 33, right? <laughs> Is it that she says now? She doesn't say that's hot. What do you say? Huge, or that's huge. That's huge, that's yeah. huge. Well, here on the show, we say, how you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, we all went through the awkward stages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Mine now, lasted a little longer than A little longer. Now, why would they call you Wolverine? Oh, well, well, that was actually a better picture of me. I used to have a unibrow, really long sideburns. Oh. Not so nice. Oh, well, <laughs> look at you now. Look at the camera and tell those people who called you Wolverine what... Mm -mm. All right, you're Miss America. You can't talk like that. No, no, no. I love you. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's not what she means. What she means is, how you doing? <laughs> I a vote of clapation to my co-host. Clap if you'd go see this uh, show. <laughs> not one person, not one. See, there are a few of us. Do you, do you guys have this? I have this. You don't have this. Too much. You do? No, no. You have to do these. Okay. Some chair dips. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That'll get that. Okay. Right. But I'm, I'm thinking it's too far gone. Well, you know, then get it. Fix it. Um, and I made them pancakes and sausage on Sunday morning, except, like a lot of people, I burnt the first batch. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Burn it down. What are we doing? Well, because you, I just learned what clap back means. I didn't really know, so I finally learned what it is. But, and then I thought I'm a bad clap backer. So, <laughs> it made you laugh, right? So can you have your audience say bad clap backer? Because they can't do it without laughing. I can't even hold my, because it makes this, just ask me to say it, because I don't know how to say it. What? <laughs> no, really, you can't say bad clap backer without smiling. So, okay, it's bad clap backer. Bad clap backer. <laughs> I was um, all into Love and Hip Hop New York. By the way, Peter Guns, you are the worst who ever did it. <laughs> what man moves his baby's mother's in the same building <laughs> and gets intimate with one on the top floor and then returns home to the bottom floor 
with the other one. Like the worst. Ew. Uh, like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say. Hating ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> You're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.